An 11 year old girl just received a life saving liver transplant, and it came just weeks before her father was set to be deployed overseas. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital with that story. Tiani. Well, imagine being a 10 year old little girl last year, finding out that you have liver disease and needed a new liver to survive. Well, that's the story of a little girl we spoke with today. If you could put a face to bravery. With everything I've gone through, like this transplant, Mm. I like I was so excited to get the transplant because okay. 11 year old Victoria Rojas would be it. I feel good. It's just different with this transition from liver disease failure and then after the transplant. Exactly one year ago, she was a typical 10 year old about to finish up the fourth grade when her mother noticed her skin was looking a little yellow. She took her to the doctor on a Tuesday. And then on Friday, the doctor called me and said, um, We got the results, so you have to go uh, to the hospital to admit her to do more tests. Victoria was eventually diagnosed with autoimmune hepatitis type 1 liver disease. Doctors told her mom her liver was so bad it was equivalent to that of a person who had been drinking their whole life. And Victoria would need a liver transplant immediately. The Clearwater family was told she'd received the best care at Jackson Memorial's Transplant Institute. What made the situation even harder, Victoria's dad is a military contractor and was overseas when all of this was happening. I hated it. Uh, I felt uh, very... Uh, unhelpful, useless, being so far away. In spite of the tough diagnosis and the family's struggles, a liver became available and Victoria's surgery was described by her doctor as uneventful. We asked the 11 year old how she got through such a tough year. Prayer. I, I also remember that I would get through it. Victoria and her family will have to stay here in Miami for a few more months while she's monitored by doctors, but she says that she is looking forward to going home to Clearwater and seeing her dogs. Reporting live from Jackson Memorial, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News.